Do you want to keep four on the floor? Or yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. okay. Cross your legs. Say welcome back. Welcome back. You always say that. I don't know. Let me see. I can't remember. It's been a while. It's been a while. We can start on that. It's been a while. Months. It's been a while. Want to do it? Hey everybody and welcome back to um, another episode of Cats, Contemporary Art Show. Art Talk Show. Contemporary, C-A, oh, yeah, right. Contemporary Art Talk Show. Um, episode number four. Today we will be talking about um, the hottest contemporary artwork in New York, LA. Um, we People were blogging and tweeting before that maybe we weren't. Um, critiquing actually the most contemporary work we could so we've we're gonna fix that so let's jump right in um, we're not gonna mention the for the sake of time we're not gonna mention the artist names or the titles of the we'll piece. print them of course once the episode comes alive to you but we're just gonna jump right into these well they'll be floating they'll be floating behind us and you'll see They'll be stationary, but they'll be behind us. They won't be floating because floating, you know, right. they'll be stationary behind us. Well, the the name and the date and the um, media will scroll across. It won't so, scroll across. It'll also be stationary. All right, let's get going. We got we got to get through four images, so we want to kind of hustle. Okay, so image number one. Uh, this one's okay. It doesn't, you know, it's kind of uh, uh, simple, but. But there's, you know, there's... This one's uh, garbage. Now, there's depth to it, to, to an extent. No. You can kind of see there's some worth to it. Now, it's, it's dumb. It's, uh, you know what? I can't tell if you're joking. I can't tell if you're kidding. No, I'm being dead serious. I'm not even kidding you. Like, I'm dead serious. I honestly think this is, like, just stupid. It's dumb. Garbage? Yeah, it's boring. No, not even garbage. Like, it's just boring. This looks like they were making repairs to the gallery. They put a piece of plastic up with some duct tape. And um, and then when they hired the photographer, the, no one supervised the photographer. The photographer shot a picture of the construction and somehow it landed on in there. I, I, this the should be called contemporary. Made, it should just be temporary. They probably made $2 million off it. Yeah, so just temporary art. But I don't want to waste our, our time or your time talking about this. So Next up, we have a what looks like a plywood and rotten banana. And, yeah, and boards, yeah. Board construction, sculpture, um, obviously using warm fast food colors. Uh, different fast food companies will use orange, brown, or red. yellow, because um, it makes you feel really soothing and like hungry, warm, I hungry. Think. Yeah. Um, I think it speaks to the banana industry, you know, the death of the banana itself. Uh, the industry has evolved to the point where the bananas can no longer reproduce. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa! Take that take two I steps think, back. I How think does a banana reproduce. They don't have. Sex. Well, I mean, like, I mean, I, I don't think bananas are no longer uh, self-sustainable. Is that the? Do you know, remember when Prince referred to his penis as a purple banana? Okay. No, I don't. That was in the eighties. Uh, the industry has killed. You know, bananas now rely on the industry. If, if the industry's over, so are bananas. We've hybrid them to a point where they're just not. What they originally were, and I don't think they can even breed naturally. I'm not kidding. Well, you can buy organic bananas, but they're really tiny. They're um, banana. No, I, I don't even know if that's true. Or something. I don't know if that's true. Uh, but also the flavor of a banana, that's not actually like, that's like a hybrid flavor. It's like a very distinct flavor. It was, uh, I think, a lot more mild. Yeah. I really don't know. I think somebody posted this one time online and I, uh, I but, liked it. But also, the jokes on all of us, this is actually. Enamel paint and cast aluminum. So this whole thing is not actually bananas. And now that is cool. Now that makes this piece from kind of cool to it's pretty cool. cool. It's the cool thing to do now is to take um, an, an item and turn it into something um, that is not. It's not. It's like an illusion piece. So you look at it and you go, wow, that's cool. And then you go, whoa, whoa, what? And you look yeah. back and you're like, this is not what I thought it was. This is not what I thought it was at all. So it makes it fresh mm -hmm. twice. Not sustainable and it's probably hurting our environment and it'll last forever now. Well, that's kind of cool. Now, the next piece, honestly, it looks like garbage. Uh, yeah. This okay. uh, almost is comparable to the first piece, personally, I think, but I don't know. It's along the same lines. You seem to kind of be a, more attached to it, but, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, so this artist is obviously 
making comparisons to contemporary art. Some people say contemporary art is garbage. So he was like, okay, okay. literally, Done. literally. Yeah, that's pretty funny though. Um, jokes on you because I walked away with millions of dollars is what he's saying. So, so I like the color. I like the black. Um, I noticed you kind of, uh, it looks like there's there's a theme here with the, these last three pieces specifically, uh, and it goes it's black. So you know, yeah, it's black is in, and fortunately I have a black shirt on. So Black's I'm, always in. Um, thanks to Johnny Cash. Yeah, thanks to Johnny Cash. Uh, so now can we move on to the next one or no? No, someone else said that. Um, Morrissey said that I wear black on the outside. I don't know who Morrissey is. Because black is how I feel on the inside. No. Oh. Oh, okay. It's kind of dark. Yeah. <laughs> no pun intended. Yeah, well. Uh, so this next piece is interesting. I think this is a, there's a lesson to be learned in this, next, in this piece here. I speak for every gallery or museum preparator out there. Before you make your artwork uh, for the gallery space, yeah. you need to get the dimensions of the doorways. Yeah, measure is, it. Standard door is typically door. 30, 34 and a half inches. Or call the gallery. Uh, right. Sometimes there's call. a bigger door, but you know, yeah. maybe check ahead. Also, if you if the gallery's not on the first floor, you have to find out what the freight elevator yep. dimensions are, uh, the weight restrictions, and plan accordingly. Yeah. So if you're doing like another aluminum piece or something, well, you might be in trouble. So maybe check with the gallery first. Yeah. It's kind of like I, art. That's a good art lesson. Yeah, it is. Like, hey, artists out there. Check with the gallery before you install, or before you ship your equipment. They, I mean, they can't be cheap shipping, right. and you don't want them to ship it back. This, this person this didn't is... check in, obviously, but she persevered, and one like, come hell or high water, she got her artwork to the gallery and got it in. And, which... and installed it, you know, some way. She just crumbled it up. Now, what's cool mm -hmm. about this is I can't tell. Like, this is kind of like optical illusion. I can't tell if that's a really small gallery. Or that's a really big piece that was supposed to fit in a bigger gallery. I can't oh, tell. Yeah, no kidding. I think of it that way. So it kind of like it's one of those things that if you look at it for a while, you can have your mind blown. Well, it's like where does the art begin and end? It could just be a model. Maybe that's a, a maybe the whole space. gallery that we're looking at here is just not. Oh yet. no, I, I'm reading. The oh. dimensions are here. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, interesting. Also, that it has a similar color scheme as the second piece that we looked at. So the, orange and yellow. So if you guys want to show it a good gallery in New York, use <coughs> black, black, orange, or yellow. Common themes, and yeah. and possibly make it look like garbage or crumpled up or something. <laughs> I was gonna say that. Uh, to recap, um, cast your work in aluminum or bronze, but make it look like garbage or fabric. Number two, use Halloween colors. Like we mm -hmm. learned today, orange, yellow, black. It'll be brown. really interesting to do with this. Is do re your research or, or look at the dates here and see if there's a common thread. Is it around October? Is that why these are like this? It'd be fun to kind of see. Oh well, this is a season. Uh, it's winter, yeah. so maybe people like black art more in the winter or something. I don't know. No, uh, number three, don't call the gallery staff ahead of time or go on their website to pre-plan because where they're going to go. Yeah. Um, make the work and then squeeze it through the door. Yeah. Or make it fit. Yep. Make it fit, people. It's all about bending the rules. It's all about bending the rules and bending your art. Yeah, bend your art. Crumple it up. Okay, that's our show. That's our show.